Uh, guys. Guys, I'm over here. Guys, look at me. Help, I'm being sacrificed. I'm going to be sacrificed on this arena. Help. Help. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and if you're new, please subscribe, like this video, share this video and leave a comment. And for today's video, I am going to show you our latest creation, our um, new Beyblade Stadium. Hooray! Hooray! Okay, so... Why did we make a new Beyblade Stadium? Because we want to do, you know, uh, three-way battles, four-way battles, five-way battles, six-way battles. As much um, battles, you know, as many Beyblades can be occupied in one battle. So yeah, we finally have a bigger stadium. Um, this is just custom-made. It's from, you know, recycled materials. Um, I will walk you through all of the process and the parts or in the purpose so yeah but before we do that i would just like to remind you that we do have a february giveaway um since we've reached 500 subscribers on our channel yay um it's dead hades so how do you win this giveaway um the instructions are in the link i mean the link for the instruction video, it's on the description down below. It's on Romp Hobby's channel. And when you watch that, actually, it will make you um, go to two videos in two different channels. One is Romp Hobby's, um, I think, Tomica channel, where they review cars there. And you have to comment on one video there. The link will be on the description as well. The next video is going to be on my channel. So, yeah, the link will also be in the description down below. Um, all you have to do is comment on those two videos, hashtag Weirb Nation. You have to comment that, guys. Do not comment on the instruction video or on this video. Comment on those two videos because uh, how the giveaway is going to be picked is um, we're going to use a comment picker. And if you do not do what is instructed correctly, you will not get a chance, all right? Because there's a lot of people who do not follow instructions i mean you will see go to the instruction video and look at the comment section and you will see who do not follow instructions you will see there that there are more comments of the hashtag at the instruction video than the actual two videos that you need to comment on so you still have enough time um i think the draw will be on the first week of march and then we'll try to do another giveaway if we reach 750 subscribers or 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, please keep supporting the channel. And enough of that. So this is an old satellite dish right here. So what I did was um, I sandpapered everything and there were four holes there. But you can't see it anymore because I filled it up with um, clay and a clay hardener. And then I sandpapered everything just to make everything smooth. And then I did the spray painting and the design as well. Um, I used tape just to make, you know. Uh, don't worry, I'll make a short um, history video or process video of what happened on how I made this. <clears throat> and then after the painting, uh, I did not do the top coat yet. Um, so the base paint and then the this de decorative paint, the design. And then I... Did the letterings later i will show you a close-up of those if you can see that's three two one go shoot when it rains and then there's a beyblade text here and i think this is three two one let it rip after all the painting was done i proceeded with making the walls the walls are made out of two materials first is this um i think this is a covering pipe for wires and the other material is 
this foam like material from air conditioning um, for I think they're for insulate insulation or sound insulation or noise cancellation so yeah this is from air conditioning and this is from wiring um, and then I drilled holes here here oops sorry I drill, drilled holes around so that I can zip tie you can even see they're still here the reason why I didn't cut them is so that I can still keep on tightening them so I'll just let them hanging there for now and then I zip tied two as you can see there's two of them and after the walls I did the other the outer wall like just this um, I don't know makes you in case a Beyblade part goes way higher to go over the wall they can still be blocked by this so yeah and um, yeah I did the detailing as you can see um, the name of the arena is burst arena I'll explain to you later why and for the last touches I added some Beyblade you know text pictures I will show you close-ups later As you can see there there's Beyblade yeah just to make it more anime-ish Beyblade you know when you see a an actual arena in real life or an F1 racing stadium there are a lot of like ads I like to give that feeling you know like ads around and brands I like to give that feeling here in this arena and lastly, I incorporated Lego on the walls. Why did I do that? So that there will be enough room for customization. And I will show you. I, I, I'm sure you can see already. Uh, but I'll do close-ups so that you will have an idea on certain things that you can do with this. If you incorporate Lego on your custom um, stadiums, I don't know if anybody have done that before. But if you do that, Lego will give you a lot of options to customize like it's limitless your creativity is um, what will you know make it more amazing so yeah again with Lego it's limitless right you can do you can make everything with Lego pieces these days um, so yeah with Lego I can put different things on the walls and let's go zoom in on the details and for those who have concerns about your drivers being worn down um i won't be using this stadium that much because i still have the, the dash stadium and the standard stadium for more battles like single battles i'll be just using this for recording videos of group battles and i've actually smoothened this surface so well with the top coat that i i think it doesn't affect the driver that much Especially if you're not going to be using it here that much. So yeah, don't worry about the drivers. And if they do get worn down, then my advice is if you can't make it as smooth as possible and you're going to be using it a lot, then you're going to have extra drivers. But for me, since I'm not going to be using this that much only for videos, it's okay. Besides, um, I'll probably just get new drivers. But yeah, the major concern with satellite dish um, stadiums is that it will wear down your drivers might as well keep using drivers here that you want to awaken you can do that like all of your evolution dash or whatever driver that you want to awaken you can keep on using them here so yeah one type of driver though that I would want to avoid although I can use it here are the metal ones so yeah that's one concern if you want if you're concerned about the paint getting rubbed off or removed but yeah i've tried the metal ones they do leave scratches i mean they they do leave scratches even in the standard stadium in the plastic one so definitely they will leave scratches on the paint as well but i do have a top coat um spray paint which is just clear and when i use that all of the scratches just like disappeared like seriously so you can keep on retouching you can study on how on 
how maintain how to maintain your drivers, how to maintain your Beyblades, how to maintain your stadium, the paint, all can be done. I mean, it's your toy. Do whatever it is that you want. Just the important thing is that you have fun. So yeah. Okay, so here is the center of the stadium. I these are probably familiar to you. Ace Dragon stickers, Ragnarok stickers, um, yeah, different stickers just to mark the center and decorate it. Don't worry, it's all smooth in now, and the, the drivers will just go over them. So, yeah, when it rains, um, 3, 2, 1, go shoot, let it rip, and Beyblade. That's pretty much it for the painting. And the outside part, we have some design as well. There, Bumblebee, because my favorite toys are Transformers and Beyblades. So yeah, as you probably noticed on the channel's logo, it's Optimus Prime. Now the... excuse my dog. <laughs> now the stand that I use is an old electric fan stand which I super glued at the center there so yeah and here are some of the detailing there's Aiga with Infinite Achilles, the Karatomi, Beyblade there as you can see all right now with the Lego component you can actually do this so these are just examples, all right? You can do whatever you want. But, and to me, these are not even final. These are just examples. So I can be create, be more creative or do other things. But for now, so for example, this one wall here has balloons. You can see. <laughs> it's decoration. It has a smoother surface Lego that would probably just make a Beyblade slide. And then rollers. So yeah, I don't know if that would help the Beyblade. And here, a wider, smoother, curved wall as well, where Beyblade would just slide off. Or you can put an announcer here on top, as you can see. Could be announcing there. And here, I just put a claw, just like a claw that would pick up the broken pieces of the Beyblade. Or it will just swoop down. It can just go down there and wait for a victim. So, yeah. Um, you can put traffic lights or 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, that's why there's a red light, green light, and an orange light there. Ready, set, shoot. And then, yeah. More detailing, a spider web, another wall, which is smooth, but a lot more triangular. That could probably give a redirect attack if it gets hit. And look at this. Look at that. Jeez. These, these claw pieces are really sharp. They can injure you and cut through rubber of the Beyblade. Yeah, just place that there for more distraction. Destruction. Imagine a Beyblade hitting that. Crazy, right? And of course, I have my Mini-Me there as a sacrificial piece. Um, one time, I was testing the stadium and it got hit. It got, you know, got, like cut into two pieces. So it just makes it more fun. And let's go to the other side. There, you basically can just decorate it. Um, like there, put flowers, put spiders, more flowers. There's so many things you can do. Like here, mini bleacher, where they're watching with umbrella. Flags, you can put flags as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of things you can do with Lego. And that's about it for all the details of the stadium. Um, now, the reason why the name is Burst Arena, it was originally supposed to be Werb Nation Arena, but the main purpose of this arena is to burst Beyblades. Like, seriously. Um, I've tested this without even the Lego this wall right here has so much surface area that has friction that it got hit 
and Breasted Brave Valkyrie. And the foam part, um, it's really hard foam. So if a Beyblade hits that, actually, um, Lucifer the end hit this wall, and then it burst it on its own. Like there's no opponent Beyblade, it just hit the wall and it bursted. I was testing them in, uh, back then. So yeah, the main purpose of the arena is to burst Beyblade, and basically it's Beyblade burst. So it's more fun seeing Beyblade bursting, right? Because where's the fun in just all survival finish or all or all knockout finish? We should see more bursts, and basically having a burst arena makes it even more fun yeah but it's not going to be fun for whoever sacrificial lego i'm gonna put there but as an example it's my mini me hooray good luck dude so let's start with the testing i'm going to use lucifer the end wait all right let's see 3D wound. Oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> right off the bat, it hit one of the claw and the flower deco. So, yeah. This is going to be crazy. And, yeah, there's two clicks already. It almost limit broke. Because of the drivers or the Beyblades that moves around. Come on, hit the wall. Oh, another claw. Okay, let's try and make it hit the foam. We have one click there. Well, definitely, if it kills the Beyblade stamina, it can burst it. So let's proceed right away to a test battle. And what bear set to test battle with? With the unbeatable bear in the anime. Jeez, they do not, they keep on winning. Just because it's lane, you know. Plot armor versus Brave Valkyrie and Glide Ragnarok. So let's test these guys. First up, Glide Ragnarok. And then, oops. And then, Lucifer. And then, Brave Valkyrie. Let's see. See, it's more fun. I don't know about you guys, but it's just satisfying to see... Ooh, Lucifer the end one. Let's do that again. Okay. Oh, nice hit. Uh, don't worry guys, I'll do more battles with this. These are just testing. Let's do one more with Lucifer the end. Come on. Boom. And when I'm recording a video, the mini-me is not getting hit. <laughs> We're not gonna stop until I get hit. Come on! Come on! Oh! Did you see that? Did, did you see that? Did you? I'm dead. Crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I did because uh, basically my mini-me died. And that just shows you. I mean, make your own Beyblade Stadium if you have the parts. Um, there are a lot of DIY tutorials on YouTube just to make it more fun at home. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. For more Beyblade... Um, stuff just look at the description down below and thank you for watching bye